the victims of gender-based violence. There are three categories of people who are the victims. The female, the male, and children. The light, the lesser light, and the stars. And the most common consequences is disruption of life. But do not concentrate on the disruptions of life. Because wherever you are, God is with you. God will never abandon you nor forsake you because you are not in that family. It is not over with your life when you are not in that family. Even if you are not there, the life still goes on. When we go back to Genesis chapter 1, 16, God has night and daytime. There is a reason why God created daytime and nighttime. Understand? Then God made two great lights. Lesser light and greater light. Daytime and nighttime. And this is the agenda of God throughout the, the Bible. There are so many scriptures which, which deal with this. When you start a day start midnight at 12 o'clock. But if you are patient enough, you'll see dawn. The sun will rise. The day shall be there. The light will come. And if you move on and you are patient, the sun will set. It will give away to the night. And when it gives away to the night, the night is not selfish. It brings more. Because the night does not shine. It brings those things which can shine and reveal the stars. And when the stars are revealed, they shine even more. You don't see that is dark because when you look at the sky, you see the stars. And that's how God operates. And that's why he says, pain endures at night. But joy comes in the morning. And every day that starts at night, there shall be a morning. You see, in the book of Isaiah chapter 1, 7 to 8, God speaks to Israel and says, your country is desolate. In other words, it's abandoned. Your cities, cities are burned with fire. Your fields are being stripped by foreigners right before your eyes. Laid waste as and when overthrown by strangers. So that is night time. So during this time, the Israelites were going through night time. Everything was bad. It was dark. But when, when you read the last chapter of Isaiah, you see daytime. The Bible says, but be, be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. For I will create Jerusalem and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping of crying will be heard into no more. You understand that now is daytime. There's no more sorrow. So the days start bad and end good. The fact that you are going through stuff. The fact that the relationship does not go well. The fact that you are divorced. You were going through the night. The morning is, is going to come. That's how God operates. He uses day and night. Light and darkness. You don't suffer forever. That's why when you are in that relationship... And realize that is the night. Walk away. Assess. Get advices. Walk away. Look at the signs. Early signs. Early warnings. Ask yourself. Will I be there in the morning? If the answer is no. It means it cannot be fixed. Don't be a statistic. Don't appear in the news when you are dead. Don't be famous when you are dead. Don't be used as an example when you are dead. 
because you fail to take a decision gender based violence must end together we can end it when you see signs which are not good end it men stop abusing women stand up for yourself respect women stand for what is good know your worth know your rights women never sell yourself short ask yourself does this man see any value if they don't see any value walk away god will restore you is god of restoration everything that is happening in your life god will restore it if you are married to a wrong person because a true husband should see value in you if he does not see value in you he's not the right one don't die in that marriage